Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Goober Dad. Um, right now, today I'm going to be going over a video. Uh, five educational apps for your kids. Uh, this is just a list I put together. That uh, These are all apps that I use, that I use for my kids. And I just wanted to go through and show you guys um, how they work and what they're all about. So we'll start off here uh, with the very first one, which would be Khan Academy. This is one that uh, I was really excited to uh, get into. I've heard a lot about it. Um, you just really sign up here. Uh, they are, they tag themselves as a free world-class education for everyone, anywhere. Uh, has no ads. It's really easy to use. It's designed for school-aged uh, children uh, who know how to read. So it really can't be for your, uh, you know, your, your three-year-old or your four-year-old and um, more for your, your, uh, your sixth graders as I have. Uh, upwards and onwards there. Um, Khan Academy started as a math learning site, so they really do focus on, on math. That's what they're most known for. Um, but it just has expanded to teach just about everything from art to history to economics. Uh, so we'll go in here and you can see um, this is just the, the math part of it uh, my, my sixth grader has gotten into. Uh, you can see everything from ratio word problems to subtracting subtracting decimals, which he uses, uh, negative decimals on the number line, uh, properties of numbers, just, you know, tons and tons of uh, different activities. Um, and with math, your child does start with a tutorial and a pretest, so then it kind of designs and customizes uh, right where they need to start and um, keeps them, you know, at their level. So they're not, they're not you know, getting discouraged because they're not getting what they need. They're actually starting where they um, feel that they should be starting. And it uh, rewards your child with badges as they do complete work. Uh, and you can sign up as a parent uh, and each child can have their own individual username and password that links to just the one email address that you sign up with. So you don't have to keep signing up with a bunch of different emails. Uh, you you kind of just go and uh, get one email and then your whole your whole clan can kind of be connected there. Um, when you log in as your child through the app, I found math tutorials to be the most comprehensive. Um, your child is able to select their grade and go through countless exercises uh, that are grade level appropriate, as I said before. Uh, this app can be a great sharpening tool for your kids as they head off into the holiday break uh, to keep them prepared and not let the rust gather on all their math knowledge. And plus, it is completely free. That's what I do love about this one is you're not going to be paying for really anything. Uh, as some of the ones that we see uh, later on in, in the uh, in the app uh, review here. And we'll go Let's through. say that I'm working in a restaurant and I'm making $10 per hour, but on top of my hourly wage, I also get tips each hour. So this entire expression, you can view this as how much I might make in a given hour. Now, you might also realize that the number of tips or the amount of tips I might make in an hour can... So that's one of the videos that you have there. Uh, it is video form, as well as you can see, uh, they actually do provide the text too. So if you don't want to watch the video. Um, so I do like that aspect of it where they provide videos, as well as, um, you know, written things to, uh, you know, kind of uh, get your child a little more practice there. That's, that's really neat. I, I do enjoy that. Um, and it tells you, will it be a video? Will it be you know, just, just plain uh, text right here. Um, as you can see right there, uh, that's the little logo there. And we'll head back out here. Uh, I did sign up, Elliot, uh, for it already. So uh, it takes two seconds to sign up. Uh, there's a website and, a, um, and, a, uh, and an app as well. Uh, I kind of just stick with the app. Okay, so moving on here, we're going to go through one that I actually used when I was in the hospital, uh, that's Duolingo. The, this uh, application is uh, just a, uh, a free language learning uh, tool. What I really liked about this was, uh, you know, it, it actually uh, keeps you on track, gives you like daily reminders. Uh, it's very easy to, to stay productive with it, which I really enjoyed. Um, you know, I, I was laid up in the bed during my transplant and I figured what 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 would be the best way to spend my time kind of be productive so i uh you know i decided well maybe i can try to learn spanish uh and again uh another app it is, it is totally free 
the app progresses with you day by day on simple exercises to teach you any language of your choice. Uh, they have over, I believe, 15 languages right now. Uh, and you kind of learn through word recognition, um, sentence creation, and actually speaking through the microphone on your phone or tablet. Um, and in uh, 2013, it was awarded uh, Best of Google. So it is actually an app that has some credibility. It's been around for quite a while. Uh, and I really did enjoy it. So uh, I guess we'll just start here and get started here. So when you come into the app, uh, as I said, tons and tons of languages for you to pick through. Um, I know we'll just start with, you know, the one that is most useful, the Spanish. And then you uh, you kind of can go here, pick a daily goal. How do, you, how do you really want to progress? Do you want to do a lot more, be more insane 20 minutes a day or more casual? We'll stick with the regular and as it says here, little owl, that's the spokesperson. Uh, you can change that goal later on as you uh, do choose. Um, if you're new to Spanish, as I was, you go ahead and just start here at the basics. And then what do you say? Which one of these is a boy, I believe? El Niño. El Niño. And uh, it, does, it provides you the vocal feedback as well. Uh, so that's good to hear. You, you kind of realize, okay, I'm doing it right. And you check yourself. Bang. And you get a little progression bar here on top. Uh, you do progress through, and uh, they um, they they give you do they do give you little rewards called lingots, um, as I said, and as well as reminders as you go. They kind of pop up in the background. You can you can uh, disable those if you don't enjoy them. Uh, so that just kind of adds another little bit of pride to what you're doing there. Um, and then this application it really has just no age. Uh, I would say you know. For, for yourself as a, as a father, as a mother, as well as a, a teenager, anybody can use Duolingo. This one really, I feel, is not, uh, not age-specific. Uh, so I really appreciated this one. Again, completely free to use. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything, um, which was really nice. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move on here to our next application that I bought for my daughter. She's three years old. Um, ABC Mouse. Oh, got to turn ABCMouse.com Early Learning Academy. And this is one that uh, you know you hear a lot of hype about it. If uh, if you've watched any type of TV in the last two years, if you've been you know under a rock, you haven't heard about it. But um, definitely uh, this one is uh, really great. You do have to pay for it. It is uh, $7.99, I believe, um, per month. Uh, I got the deal there. I did the 42% off to get the uh, to get the app because <clears throat> I knew I knew we'd be using it. So you can find a deal here. But uh, what I love about it is it's laid out in a step-by-step -step, uh, pathway, what they do call it, and uh, that kind of really keeps your child on track, uh, keeps them motivated so they don't they don't hop off and and uh, and lose their way. What I love about it too is my three-year-old is actually able to use it independently. So I didn't have to sit there with her and actually go through it uh, as these other ones. It was really great because she, she could actually do it on her own and feel that sense of uh, pride and uh, independence. And it, uh, it does provide a full rounded educational experience. They got over 7,000 learning activities and 500 lessons across the whole app. So for your subscription, you are just, you're, you're really paying, uh, you're paying good money, but um, I believe it's fully worth it. Uh, you know, I, I, she uses it all the time and, and I don't feel like, you know, she's actually, uh, missing out on anything. It's, it's worth the money. I can't say that for all of these, but, uh, she's definitely learning. Uh, she learns to, you know, rhyme words. Uh, you actually write, she learns how to write her name, uh, different colors, shapes, um, moving on into like history and even more. Uh, it's just like a little mini preschool that she goes to uh, online uh, to supplement her actual preschool that she goes to. Um, so very, very good. I, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, probably my favorite uh, application here uh, on, uh, on the tablet. Uh, I could say that you know, it was worth, worth every penny so far. Okay, so um, we'll go ahead and we'll move on. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone's heard of ABC Mouse here. Okay, uh, our next one here is one that I'm, I'm, I'm new to here uh, is IXL. I just kind of got turned on to this one. 
uh, I will say not as polished and, um, and, and, and enjoyable to look at as say Khan Academy or ABC Mouse or even Duolingo, um, but uh, kind of had its own little quirks to, to give you something for it here. I will go ahead and continue as a guest, which I enjoyed. I, I just kind of signed, you didn't have to sign up. You just kind of continue as a guest here. And uh, you can go down. It's set here for pre-K, but we'll go up to sixth grade that my son will be using here. And again, you do it as multiplication, whole numbers, whatever you guys are doing here, uh, estimating quotients. And uh, I am using a stylus here if that comes with my tablet. And what I like is you can uh, kind of get your own scratch pad going. And right here, uh, you don't need to have a separate notebook page, which is nice. Uh, you can get your own scratch pad right there on the application and uh, do go through the app. Um, yeah, like I said, it's not as polished as you'd say like Khan Academy or, or as in-depth really. Uh, just kind of math and language arts is where they focus on. And, um, you know, so it, it's not as comprehensive as Khan Academy. Uh, there's a prize system that offers little picture rewards, which would be better maybe for, you know, your, your first graders or, or pre-K students to enjoy. Your high school students may not enjoy those as much, um, but that's just the nature of the beast there. It's all pro uh, practice problems, um, and they kind of do evolve as your child progresses through those. Um, so, you know, and, and you get written explanations after every incorrect answer, which is nice. That instant feedback, that, uh, that instant comments that is so vital to, you know, um, learning there for the kids. Uh, this one you have to do. You do have to pay uh, nine nine ninety nine per month if you want to use the app, or eighty dollars a year. Uh, I wouldn't recommend actually purchasing it when you have something as free as Khan Academy, but def definitely download it to supplement what your kids are doing over the holiday break and and how they're learning. Um, and uh, so, and we'll go through one more here at the very end. Uh, one I just want to recommend just for fun. Uh, why wouldn't you really want to do it? Uh, is Google Earth. If you have never heard of Google Earth, you got to get your kids hooked onto it. It's just um, a satellite program uh, developed by Google, and it's, you could just go ahead and here and waste hours and hours on it. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. Uh, it'll get your kids into geography if you you know want to know where a country is, or you can zoom in and you know you can zoom all the way in here to Niger and see what's happening in Niger or in Ghana. Um, you know, Libya, and uh, that just, you know, why not use the technology to connect the world? We have this technology. Show your kids about it and uh, keep them involved and in what's going on. Um, it's all free through Google. Uh, I recommend if you have a, you have to have a pretty solid tablet to do it and uh, be careful. It will burn through your data. So make sure you're on Wi-Fi as you're using it. Um, <laughs> so there we go. Uh, guys, I really do appreciate you guys sticking around with me. And uh, hearing a few of the applications that we use as a family and what, uh, what I recommend, uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that because it does help us uh, create more of these type of videos. Uh, please check back to Goober Dad every day because we're uploading and doing more new things. Look for more vlogs and our blog. Follow us at Twitter at the Goober Dad. 